This is an instructional video detailing the applications and functions of the Phase 2 900-331 and 900-331D Rockwell Hardness Testers. These hardness testers are designed to test primarily metals using the Rockwell Hardness method via a dead weight driven control. The 900-331 can also be upgraded with a digital indicator for simplified readout, scale conversion, and the ability to save results automatically. Inside the kit for the 900-331, you will find a set of weights, four test blocks, anvils, small, large, and V-shaped for rounded parts, a 120 degree cone indenter, and a 1 16th inch ball indenter. The kit additionally comes with a set of four feet, which have been attached to this machine for leveling purposes. NAST or ASTM certified test blocks and penetrators are available on request. Now, let's move on to the operation of the hardness tester and see just how easy it is to utilize the different functions, taking tests, and obtaining results. It is important to take into account the technical aspects of the machine. The maximum workpiece height is 170 millimeters or 6.7 inches, and the maximum workpiece depth is 167 millimeters or about 6.6 .6 inches. The most prominent feature of this model is its very simple test cycle, along with cost-effective nature, making it one of our most popular benchtop testers. Now, let's move on to the operation of the hardness tester and see just how easy it is to utilize the different functions, taking tests and obtaining results. To begin testing, ensure that an appropriate anvil has been installed, such that the sample can be mounted firmly in place. Check that the indicator is in the proper position one to two points behind top dead center. Ensure that the correct penetrator and weight have been selected, then place the sample and verify that it is stable. Raise the anvil by turning the elevation screw counterclockwise until the sample comes into contact with the indenter head. Smoothly continue to raise the anvil, paying special attention to the indicator. Once the needle completes three rotations, bring it to a stop on or just after top dead center. Adjust the indicator as needed by spinning the outer ring such that the zero mark is in line with the needle. Push the load unload lever to the rear. When the needle begins to slow, count five to seven seconds. Then pull the load unload lever to the front. The reading will be shown on the indicator. The outer ring, black, is for A and C scale, while the inner ring, red, is for B scale. The digital indicator functions similarly in principle to the standard analog readout. Prior to starting a test, the indicator should display zero. Verify that the proper weight has been selected and the appropriate test scale is shown on the display. Follow the standard testing procedure, and as the sample makes contact with the penetrator, the indicator value will increase. Once this value reaches anywhere between 2.8 and 3.0, the indicator will beep and the value will change to show 100. Load the sample using the load unload lever and the test will begin. A graph at the bottom of the indicator plots the difference in the height of the penetrator. Once the line stops its rapid descent and begins to produce a straight line, begin your count of five to seven seconds. After said time has elapsed, unload the sample using the load unload lever and the results will be displayed on screen. The digital indicator has expanded functionality outside of just making results easy to read. Pressing the function button on the right will enter the settings menu where parameters like scale, conversion, and autosave can be set. For further information on navigating specific functions of the digital readout, refer to the documentation in the latter portions of the manual.